everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my most complimented fragrances i feel like this was requested a few times that i've seen in my comments so i decided to do it i, I can't even remember i feel like i've done this before or a version of it but you know it must have been a minute ago since i can't remember for sure and i just thought it would be fun to share which perfumes i received compliments on the most in my collection so the way i did this because let me tell you i received compliments <sighs> on the majority of my fragrances. And that's because of layering combinations and whatnot. But I always know which perfume they're smelling the most with the combination. And the way I did this, I didn't look in my, my collection and go, oh, I received one compliment on that. Oh, I received a, yeah, one or two. No, the way I did this, I looked at all the perfumes in my collection and the ones that I know I have received multiple compliments on made it to the video. The perfumes that every time I wear them, I have received a compliment made it to this video. If I had to think on did I receive a compliment, it didn't make it because these are no brainers that I remember receiving multiple compliments on through some years of wearing them and some that are really new to my collection that I've worn multiple times and have received compliments each time I've worn the fragrance. So we're just gonna jump into this. I think I have about 20 perfumes here. I have a couple of honorable mentions that you'll see why they're honorable mentions. So this is gonna be hopefully a quick, you know, layback video. I'm not gonna go into notes and all of that. Um, I'm just going to talk about each fragrance and some of my, you know, compliments while wearing and, you know, just go through. Because some of these, when I was going through them, I was like, oh, yeah, I did receive a lot of compliments on this perfume. I haven't worn it in a while. I need to pull this back out. So let's get started. The first one I'm going to mention is Dolce & Gabbana Parfum. Now, I have talked about this numerous occasions on my channel I had a bottle of this, I want to say five or six years ago, and I was disappointed in it because I, you know, I read about it and watched reviews on it and people were like, oh, it's just a marshmallowy fragrance. And so I was thinking, oh, it's going to be just sweet, fluffy, you know, just blow my mind. And when I got it the first time, I was like, what the heck? This isn't sweet, but I would receive so many compliments wearing this perfume. And it is a powdery raspberry fresh marshmallow scent. It's not what I call gourmand sweet sweet. It's more of a grown up sweet like not too sweet perfume. And I it just used to blow my mind. I finished the entire bottle, did not repurchase until I think 2020 or 2021 when I really got into marshmallow. And I said, I'm gonna give this another try because I was hearing people, you know, raving about it on YouTube. And when I got it again, I was like, okay, I do love this. I guess maybe I had to get a little older. I don't know, but it was a compliment getter for me. And one, I didn't understand the compliments. <laughs> But I do remember getting a ton of compliments while wearing this perfume. And again, that is Dolce & Gabbana's Porfim. Another perfume that was such a compliment getter for me, and I have, this is my second bottle of this perfume, just like Dolce & Gabbana, is Chanel Chance Au Tendre. Now this is one I loved immediately i smelled it on a co-worker of mine i was like i need this in my life okay and so it was gifted to me the my first bottle was gifted to me which i used up 
And I immediately, I would save this perfume, my first bottle for like if I had um, a business meeting where I was going you know, somewhere other than where I normally would go. If I wanted to just smell super feminine and pretty and fresh, I, this is this was my, I'm not just wearing it anytime perfume at that point in my life, because it was my first Chanel fragrance and it was, was a gift. And I just remember receiving so many compliments. I mean, from women and men. I have one specific memory. <laughs> of this perfume i wore it to work and this was this was a guy and he had like a strong reaction to this perfume and this to me is not like a femme fatale perfume but it is super feminine you know it's very feminine and a lot of men that's how they prefer you know, women to smell. They want women to smell super feminine or what is the um, depiction of what super femininity fragrances need to smell, like how people portray women should smell. Y'all know what I'm saying. So, because it's not, it's not sexy to me. Um, it's just very, very pretty and feminine. And I remember I had to go in his office and he i was just talking and uh, whatever we were meeting about and he said oh my you smell so good i mean you know i was like oh thank you <laughs> it was a strong reaction like you know so men and women i have received multiple countless compliments throughout the years of wearing this perfume. And again, that is Chance Otendre by Chanel. Okay, another one that I'm on my second bottle of, let's just do these first. And that is Prada Candy. So y'all have heard, if you've been watching me, you have heard the story of uh, many times how I was enthralled uh, by the name candy in a perfume. This is at a time where I was, um, I think it was at my second job. I had just gotten a promotion and I was waiting for this to come out because I believe it was only released at Saks Fifth Avenue when it first was released. And I just received so many compliments. I received compliments again from women and men with Prada Candy. And Prada Candy is not what I would call a complex fragrance. It's not what I would call a candy fragrance. It is powdery, fresh caramel fragrance. That's what it is, um, but it's very pretty. So I finished the bottle, loved it and enjoyed it. Then didn't think about it for I think over five plus years. I, you know, cause I'm always trying to move on to the next thing. I wait until I really miss a fragrance. This was an instant repurchase. It's not many that's an instant repurchase for me. This was the Chance Otendre. But this is one, even though I loved it and received so many compliments, I just took my time you know, I was moving on to other fragrances. And then I was telling, I think I got a sample of it and I wore it and I was like, oh, it is good. I kind of miss it, but I still didn't, you know, spend the money on it. But I was telling a friend of mine of work about it. She purchased it and I walked in. I was like, oh, what are you wearing? And she said, Shana, it's the purpose you told me about product candy. And I was like, okay, got to, oh, we got to reorder it for myself. Got to reorder it for myself, okay? And yeah, this is, it's a compliment getter for me. On my second bottle of it, you see it's well loved. If you haven't seen my dense video with my fragrances, I will link that above, check it out, because this is one that was definitely in there. And yeah, it's, been, it's just a compliment getter for me. I know some people think it's basic or whatever. I don't care. If I like a fragrance, I'm, I'm gonna wear it. I don't care what your opinion of it is, hunty if I like it, and I do, and that is Prada Candy. Okay, another one. Let me just stick, since this is in the same house. This is a perfume 
Okay, I think I bought a gift set from Fragrance Snap. And I have, I had a one ounce, and then I have the, the big two point, I think these are 2.7 ounce bottles. And this is Prada Candy Gloss. Now I was just using the first one ounce bottle up because you know I don't want two bottles of the same fragrance in my collection. I really don't like gift sets like that unless maybe it's like a travel spray or something. So I said I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Y'all, this to me is it's a cherry candy kind of gloss. Uh, perfume it's not anything to me that is spectacular but it is nice um, it's a nice cherry flirty um, girly scent I received so many compliments on this perfume while using up that one ounce bottle and it just surprised me it was like at least one compliment a day and I was wearing it I think it took me almost a month to finish that bottle up and yeah it surprised the heck out of me how many compliments I received while wearing Prada Candy Gloss. So, I haven't really been using this uh, bottle up much because, you know, I went through that one, I think, last year. But I guess, no, I think it was the year before last. I don't remember. But I've taken quite a break from this, so I think it's time to pull it out soon and get some use out of it. But yeah, it was a great compliment getter for me, which took me by surprise. Okay, so the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is another one. I was wearing it a lot when I purchased it. And then I've taken a long break from it. But when I was wearing it, I would receive a compliment every day, every time I wore it. And that is Guerlain Mon Guerlain. Y'all, one of the, I have two strong memories of this big compliments I received while wearing it. I was at, at work one day and people were coming where I was working at that time. It was the front office and then it was the lounge was at the back and you had to come up a, quite a hallway. And people were coming in and they said, we smell Shaughnessy, we smell Shaughnessy. We know it's you. Cause I was sitting in the front working and I heard them talking as they were coming down the hall. And it was this perfume. And then another time I had a meeting I had to go to and I was walking around the administration building and I was talking to someone, I went in their office and they were like, I just have to tell you, you smell amazing. You smell amazing. And mostly I receive compliments with this perfume from women. I can't remember one from a guy with this perfume. But yeah, it's a soft, powdery, lavender, kind of vanilla, comforting, classy, more on the mature side fragrance. But yeah, I received a lot of compliments from women while wearing this perfume. And again, that is Mon Guerlain. Okay, so let me go back to one that was uh, just a total surprise for me. Because I was, I didn't have, I had no interest in this perfume. And that is Pink Sugar. Y'all, I heard so much about this perfume. When, like I keep saying, as I've talked about this multiple times, at the height of its hype, I was not interested in this. When everyone was wearing this, I was not interested in it. But after watching so many YouTube videos and, you know, I was like, okay, I was in, I think Marshall's. Marshall's and saw uh, this full-size perfume and a full-size body cream for under 20 bucks. And I said, you know, I'm just going to get it. I couldn't even remember how it smelled. I just said, I'm going to get it because I hear so many people just raving about this perfume that I like to watch. Y'all, every doggone time I wear this perfume, I wear this perfume, I get a compliment. Every single time. And it's a burnt, sugary, cotton candy, sweet, girly, very pink scent. And yeah, I receive a compliment each time I wear this. And it just surprised me. I don't know why, because other people said it was a compliment getter. 
but it surprised me how many compliments I would receive with this perfume. When it was one, I was just like, nah, nah. I want the blue sugar. I don't want the pink sugar. And it's an easy reach if you just want to smell good. I think you can wear it anytime, um, depending on how much you spray. And yeah, it's a compliment getter, y'all. Pink sugar. Okay, was there another one that surprised me? I don't think so. So now I'm going to, let's jump into some that's kind of a group, okay? And the first one y'all had to know is gonna be in here. It's gonna be Delina. Delina, Delina Exclusive, and Delina a la Rosé. Or is it a la rose? Whichever way you want to pronounce it. <laughs> All three of them. All three of them are compliment getters for me. Each time I wear them, doesn't matter which one, I have not gone one time while wearing any of these fragrances and not receiving at least one compliment each time. I've had... And this Delina, I, the Delina and the Delina, no, all of them have been, oh my goodness, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? You know, because there's levels to the compliments, y'all. Like there's levels to everything else, there's levels to the compliments. And I even had a friend of mine at work, she was like, because I, when people would compliment me on this, I didn't want to tell them how much it was. Because... This is the only one I didn't even pay retail for. I had Nordstrom, what is it called, cash or whatever, and I used to get this first bottle. And then the rest, I got discounted uh, also, but even deeper. I, I didn't like telling people because I was, these are expensive. And this was my first foray, Delina, into niche perfumes and niche prices. But it is beautiful, Okay. The original one is beautiful. At first when I got it, I liked it. But the more I wore it, and it just is so feminine. Okay? So just pretty girl. Pretty woman. That you just smell how the bottle looks. And people are like, oh my goodness, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? So I had a friend of mine. She went to New York. And I, did she go, I think she went to Parfums de Marley and actually purchased hers. Or did she find it on Fragrance Set, like I was telling her? I can't remember. But I've had people purchase this based off of smelling it off of me. And it's a love. It's a love. It's a compliment getter. That's the first Delina. Now, the, the Delina exclusive, the memory I have specifically connected to this one. Woo, this is a creamier, like sweeter version of Delina. And y'all, I have have a video breaking down the scent profile and everything about all the Delinas. I will link it above. Check it out if you haven't seen it because I'm not going to go into detail about how each of them smell and all that. But the memory I have of this, where I was working, I think it was the 25th anniversary. Um, and I was preparing for the event and running around and making sure everything was set up and ready to go. And I remember, um, so people were like, oh my goodness, it smells amazing down through here. And I was like, oh, okay. And then when I came around by the hall, I, it was me. I was, this was still in the air. This was still in the air, honey, lingering. And I smelled my own doggone self when I came back down the hall. Uh, a, a time later. So yeah, compliment getter, Delina Exclusive. This I remember wearing and it was hot. Was it picture day or something? And <sighs> this is so soft and pretty and feminine. And I was told, oh my God, you smell amazing. You have all, everywhere you go just smells amazing. And that's what these do for me. Every single time I've worn them, and some days I'll be like, "Woo, I guess I'm not going to get a compliment finally when I wear it. But every time, 
it comes through someone says i smell so good i smell amazing what are you wearing when i wear these perfumes so the delinas are a hit for me now another um three perfumes i want to mention they all have the same relative scent profile and that's why i'm putting them together because i have layered these together and people have gone like oh my goodness and that is let's first start with killian's love don't be shy marshmallow caramel super sweet okay compliment getter parfums de marley saffinade marshmallowy powdery not as sweet as love don't be shy but similar compliment getter benevolence from house of siage sugary um kind of marshmallowy kind of root beer sweet they all are similar all of them are compliment getters for me but the time i remember i was layering all three of these together honey I would give reactions like, whoa, you smell good what you wear. And you, I can get that reaction with just wearing, you know, one of these. But I wanted to like, put these together because I do like layering them together and compliment getters for me. Compliment getters for me. I love, love don't be shy, saffronade, and benevolence, y'all compliment getters if you love sweet gourmand um they just smell good they smell really good and they're intoxicating and when you smell them you want to keep smelling them and at least that's how it is for me when i smell them okay y'all so this next one i recently finished up the travel spray if you haven't seen my empties video for january i will link it above check it out this perfume i have finished two travel sprays and a dabber and it's a great compliment getter for me and that is voce viva by valentino now this bottle is full because i had two travel sprays and a dabber and i'm finished with all of them so now i'm about to start on this one this is just pretty it is just pretty and I have been, that is what I've been told. Oh my goodness, you smell so pretty and soft. Oh, you just smell so good. That's what I've heard while wearing this perfume. I love it. Compliment getter. I just received a compliment while wearing this a couple days ago while I was finishing up the travel spray. I had to go to the administration building and it was funny because when i go to the administration building i like to look a certain way and it was a friday and i didn't know i was gonna have to go over there to pick up something so i was wearing you know casual friday wear but honey i knew i smelled good and i was told when i was walking in there i was like you smell so good you smell so good i just have to tell you that mm, little j viva love it Okay, another one that surprised me that is such a compliment getter for me is Lancome's Idole. This is another one. I don't wear it often, but when I do wear it, I always receive a compliment. It's super rosy, fresh, kind of sweet shampoo very modern rose and the memory i can remember the easiest with this perfume the compliment i can remember is uh my principal i was running around you know i'm not smelling myself and i had a group of women following me and they're like shauna said you smell so good and my principal she was one at that time she really didn't I don't think she was really into fragrances because there's a group of us who are really into fragrances and she just, you know, I think she was kind of like, I have my couple I love, I'm good. But this is one, 
she was like, whoo, it smells so good throughout the hall when I was walking around. And then I'd go into her office. It was towards the end of the day. And she was like, you still smell amazing. I still smell you. And she was like, what is this? Because it's going on the list. <laughs> Lancome's Idol. Okay. Um, another perfume. I should have done this with the Delinas because it's so pink. That I always get compliments on this is Giorgio Armani C Fiori and what is so annoying about this is it's discontinued and I wish I got a backup before the price skyrocketed this is one you just smell sweet soft and feminine and when I've worn it that that's kind of the, it's, oh you smell so good Oh, you smell so good. Oh, you smell so pretty. That's kind of, that's the tone because it, it's not one that's like, wow, but it's like, oh, you smell good. You know, and I love that. Two, it's a sweet, powdery, bubblegummy scent. Love it. C. Fiori. Okay, y'all, I got three more before I get to my honorable mentions. So this is a perfume that I listened to the hype and blind bought it. And I was like, when I first got, I was like, whatever. Yeah. And then I would be wearing this and getting so many compliments. And I've, it's the one that smells better in the air. You know, you have some perfumes, you sniff your skin or whatever up close and you're like, uh, but then when you get whiffs and wafts of it, you're like, wow, I do smell amazing. That's what this one is. And this is, D and G by Dolce and Gabbana Three Lim Patrice. Y'all, the first memory I have of this perfume because this is my it's burning up perfume, but I want to smell good and I know it will mix well with the sweat because I sweat. Okay, so we had to go to convocation. We were outside triple digits waiting on the buses. I was wearing this and I was sweating. Okay. And as we were standing outside, people were like, you smell so good. Got on the bus. People were like, woo, you smell good. That was sweating, triple digital heat, triple, triple digit heat, being close to people, being told I smell amazing. Now, I've received numerous other compliments since then, but that's the one I, that made me go, hmm, hot weather perfume, hot weather perfume. And I love it now. And again, that is D&G, Three Limb Patrice. It's a watermelon kiwi, like translucent, um, kind of, what is that? Infused, watery perfume. It's very nice, very nice. And like I said, a compliment, guitar. Okay, this is one, I think these two, let me look. These are relatively new, but they're already compliment getters for me because every time I've worn them. This is Burberry Brit Rhythm for Her EDT. I even ha I haven't had this full year in my collection, but I wore I've been wearing it. Y'all, I thought I broke some. <laughs> I have been wearing it a lot. Um, I wore it a lot last spring. No, last summer, I wore this a lot. <sighs> this smells very good. And again, kind of like this perfume, this is a good hot weather perfume. I remember I had to go to like a training that was all day for all the office managers or whatever, and it was hot. And we had to move around and people were like, you, oh my goodness, you smell so good. You smell so fresh. You smell so good. This, then I wear it to work. Oh my goodness, Shaughnessy, what are you wearing? Oh my, this, oh, it smells so good. This, you smell just clean and nice and good. You smell like a, what in the world? Why is this not clicking now? Y'all, I dropped this and now... It's not closing correctly, which is annoying me because I plan to get a big version of this and use this top 
And I just top is tripping. Oh, whatever. So yeah, I dropped it and now my top is it's sticking on here. But yeah, this perfume is a compliment getter. I absolutely love and adore it for a powdery, musky, feminine scent. I haven't found one that's better for the fresh, clean, you just smell good vibes. Love this. And like I said, a good, great compliment getter. Okay, this is one, I think this has been out probably 20 years and I just got it last year and I've only been wearing it this fall winter. But I'll tell you what, every time I wear worn this, compliments. And that is Hypnotic Poison by Dior EDT. Every time I've worn it. To me, this is a cherry, vanilla, marshmallowy kind of, sometimes like a fizziness, like a carbonation seltzer scent in there too. It's good. It is good, okay? And I'm talking about people, I have had people go multiple times, whoa, you smell good. This. Hypnotic Poison has not been long in my collection, but had to make it to this list because I've worn this multiple times and have received multiple compliments each time I've worn it. Okay, y'all, so now we're down to the honorable mentions. And I'm making these honorable mentions because these are perfumes that I have repurchased that were compliment getters when I first bought them. And they're still compliment getters today, but I don't wear them as often. I purchase them for mostly for nostalgic reasons. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Viva La Ju Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy. I mean, everybody knows Viva La Juicy. It, everybody knows this perfume. When I first got it, I got so many compliments. I was obsessed with this perfume. I was obsessed with the bottle. Finish it up, normally how I do, I moved on to something else. Like I said, it's rare perfumes that I instantly repurchase. And then I just, just got it where I wanted it back in my collection. And this is one now for me, I tend to layer. And the combinations I've come up with while using this to layer, I've received multiple compliments. So. In my early 20s, when I first got this perfume, it was, you know, I was wearing it by itself and getting tons of compliments. And now today, I am getting compliments while layering it with other things. So it's still working for me. I'm still enjoying it. And I just wanted to mention it because it's still a compliment getter to this day. Viva la Juicy, honey. Another one. Fancy by Jessica Simpson. This is my second full-size bottle of this. I remember, this has been reformulated. The first formulation I liked but didn't love because it was too much for me, but I would receive so many compliments, especially from guys, with the, with the first formulation. You know, very thick, very caramel, very sweet. This is still caramel, but it's fresher. And this is the version I like. So this is one I still receive compliments on when I wear it, but I re receive the most compliments with the first formulation from guys. This was like in my early 20s too. Like these three I'm talking about are late teens, early 20s, uh, the perfume. This is what I smell like. And that and Mariah Carey's M, but I don't have that one. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, this is still a compliment getter for me today, even though I have to say, I prefer the new formulation, but the old formulation got me more compliments from guys, but I prefer this one. Okay, and last but certainly not least, y'all are gonna see this in a haul video soon, but I just had to put it in here once I decided to do my little honorable mention section because I went through some bottles of this. And this is Britney Spears Fantasy. Y'all, this was me. I was obsessed with this perfume. I received, I don't know how many compliments while wearing this perfume. 
And I just bought this to layer. Um, I went through so many bottles of this that I got, I was like, I don't want it back in my collection. Then I got that YSL perfume and the name is Manifesto. And it's green, it's it's too green for me, but it does remind me of Britney Spears fantasy, like a grown up, more adult version. More, I don't even wanna say adult. It reminds me of a less flirty version. That That's what it is. And I was like, I need some original because it made me want the original. Now then I get the original, I smell it, it took me back, but I was still not, oh, I just wanna put this on, I wanna put it on because I wore it so, so much, so much. So I'm gonna see how I like wearing it, layering it with Manifesto, the reason why I repurchased it. But honey, back in the day, like I don't know about now because I haven't worn it. Uh, I just bought this a few days ago. Back in the day, this was bad, okay? Because <laughs> I received so many compliments on this, went through so many bottles of this. This is what people said I smell like. This was, this was signature scent basically for me because I was obsessed with Britney Spears fantasy. All right, y'all. So those are the most complimented perfumes in my collection at this time because, you know, things be changing depending on what you start wearing. But at this time, these are the most complimented perfumes in my collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your top three most complimented fragrances. I would love to know. Please share this video with everyone who enjoys just smelling and feeling good, honey. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.